shall never be ashamed, O King of all the glory. Thank you, my Father, for you've been faithful upon our lives, O God. We bless you this day, O Father. It's a day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, O my God. Father, we are not worthy, O God. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you, for King of all the glory, for sacrificing your Son, O Jehovah God, to die for our sins, O my Father. Thank you for making us go highest with Christ, O God. We bless your name, we glorify your name this morning. For this we pray, O oh God, believing and trusting in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God our mighty hands. Um, come on, guys. Wonderful day. We thank God you can have your seats. You can have your seats. It's a very beautiful day. I'm so happy to see each and every one of you over here. We bless the Lord. Amen. It's time to give. It's time to give. You can just have your offering in your hand. And whoever is doing the MPESA, you can have a, that's our MPESA number. You can do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this that you have given unto us, O oh God. Your word has told us that you bless the work of our hands, O oh my God. Thank you for the jobs that you've given us, King of all the glory. May we always make a difference wherever we are, O oh God. Just as our, 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 our prayer says that uh, we are raising kingdom champions, O oh God. May we be champions, O oh King of all the glory in, in, in this earth, O oh Father. Wherever we are, O oh Jehovah. May we portray you, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can give. We can give. The basket is in the middle. Go ahead and give. You can give. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Sunday school, uh, stand up, pray that we can go. The children, stand up. Kibali. Kibali. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We glorify you for this gift. We glorify you, Father, for these gifts that you have entrusted us with, O Jehovah. As they go to Sunday school, King of all the glory, may you have a word for them, O oh God. Father, you've told us to bring them up in your ways, O oh Jehovah God. And when they grow up, they shall never depart from it, O oh God. We pray this upon their lives, each and every one of them. Each one of them, also that is not here with us, that belongs to this family of Dominion Assembly, O oh Jehovah. We remember them. Bless their parents as they bring them up, O oh God. Give them wisdom, O oh King of all the glory, to bring them up in your ways, Jehovah God. As they grow, my Father, may they grow in your ways, fearing you, O God, and may they never depart from it, O Jehovah. For this we pray, believing and trusting in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I'll be right by, I'll be right with you guys. Go. Go to the room. I'll be right with you. Now we are going to invite our pastor so that he can invite our visiting pastor. Thank God. you to niade. I say the. Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. William Jacula. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
a wonderful morning. It's indeed the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I keep telling you there isn't ever a day that he hasn't made. He makes every single day. The psalmist say that bless the Lord, O oh my soul, bless the Lord who holds our souls in life. It's him who holds our souls in life. And when you get to understand that it's him who holds you in life, then you get to celebrate and appreciate every single day that he does that. Amen. Well, all right like us to appreciate the Lord for this team. Manuel is away today. So the team has still done a great job as always. We appreciate the Lord. Like us. Let's pray together. Sister. Father, you has made us, not we ourselves. It's you has called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. It's you who works in us both to will and to do that which is pleasing in your sight. It's you who is able to keep us from falling. It's you. Your word says that of you, through you, and to you are all things. We honor you. We acknowledge that apart from you, we can do nothing. We give you praise this morning. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for preserving us. We thank you for being a shield round about us. We thank you that, Lord, even as we sit today under the ministry of your word, your thoughts concerning us are for good and not evil. That, Lord, it's your desire to establish us, to accomplish those things that concern us, that your name may be glorified through us. So we thank you. We thank you for your presence with us, Holy Spirit. You were such as the deep things of God. We thank you that it's your pleasure to reveal your mind to us. So as a seat, just have your way. Use us for your glory. Let Christ be magnified. Let the name of our God be glorified. Thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we've prayed and believed. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. I need one more microphone. Uh, seven, eight, please. Right, I would want us to get into the word in a different fashion today. Um, with us today is a man who doesn't need introduction. I can have one of these, please, one of these tables, or stools. With us today is a man who doesn't need introduction. He's a, he's a brother, he's a friend, he's a pastor at the Papa Center 
Ruach Assembly now. Uh, been a great friend. We've walked together. It's been a blessing to me, to my family. It's a great pleasure to welcome on stage today with us, Pastor Fadius Charlie. Let's so appreciate the Lord as we welcome him to stage today. Hallelujah. Do you have a seat or is it a stool? <laughs> well, smile at your neighbor as they set us up. Could you smile at your neighbor? I said, smile, follow instructions. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Great. So, I remember we we're sitting with Pastor in some of our discussions, and you. You're saying we need to, and you keep saying this, we need to go back to systematic theology where it's line upon line, precept upon precept. Paul said that I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. That the word is able to build you. And when he says in Hebrews uh, 13, that it's good that they have to be established with grace. Then he says, and in Romans he says, I desire to come to you that I may impart a spiritual gift in you to the end that you may be established. So God's desire for us is for us to be established. And that establishment comes through his word. So I know, I know we We've been looking at this topic of uh, faith, um, the God kind of faith. We started in uh, Numbers 23, where the Lord talks about his people, and he gives a witness of his people. Numbers 23, 21, he says, I've not seen iniquity in Israel not seen any wrong in Jacob. He says, the Lord is God is with him and the shout of the king is among them. So I, I want us to pick from there, to spill a bit. I know we want to talk about the tension of faith today. But I want you to just comment on that as we build up that the way the Lord looks at us that he witnesses about his people, not according to where they are. He says he's a God who calls those things that are not as if they are. So he witnesses of his people, not according to where they are, but according to what he has made them to be, the provision that he has made for them. Maybe I'll allow you to jump in there as we just get this discussion going. This, uh, praise the Lord. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming to the house of Bible says they walk in strength. So every one of that appeals to walk in Zion. So there's something you get when you come to the house of the Lord. Then this scripture here, we can be here our whole day. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob. 
neither have he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. In theology, this scripture introduces what we call attention, a text. Mm -hmm. Already there is attention there because he's saying he beheld no iniquity in Jacob. Mm -hmm. Which Jacob? The, the con man, the bad boy, mm -hmm. the tricky star. The cheater, the idolater. Mm -hmm. This is the same Jacob God is saying, I did not see any iniquity in Jacob. Mm -hmm. You're like, God, what were you, what, which Jacob are you talking about? Right. Right? And some of us, when you read that scripture, you begin to struggle in your mind. God, are we talking about the same mm -hmm. Jacob? And God will tell you, yes. But you, you are looking for things. You are looking for faults. You are looking for mistakes. And if you are looking for mistakes, you would miss them. Mm -hmm. But God is not looking for mistakes. Because God has the perfect photo, image of who he made Jacob. Right. God has the perfect image of who he made Esther to be. So when every time you go to God and you tell him what Esther is doing, it, done, it doesn't catch his attention because he has a set image concerning Leah. Mm -hmm. So when Leah is telling God what Leah is going through, God is not going through with you. Mm -hmm. God is at the end of the story. Right. And the image is constant. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Jesus. So when you are telling God, Jacob is a con man, like, which, which Jacob? <laughs> because the Jacob I know, the Jacob whose image I have, mm -hmm. the Bible says that uh, he has engraven us in the palms of his hand. So the image he sees in his hand has no faults. Right. It's perfect. And it is constant. It's done. Let me say this. Let me throw you in the deep sea. God is not coming into terms with what you are becoming. Mm -hmm. Say more. God is not coming into terms with what you are becoming. You are the one coming into terms with who he already made you. Right. Because you say that he sees mm -hmm. the end from the beginning. So God is not working. Mm -hmm. God worked and finished. He sees the glorified Esther mm -hmm. and that image is set. Right. So, God is not coming into terms with what Esther is becoming. Because according to God, you are not becoming. Mm -hmm. He made you. It is you coming into terms. Coming into agreement with what he has already made you. That's why he can look at you and say, I, be, I behold no iniquity in Felix. <laughs> and you, you are struggling because you are not Felix. <laughs> You, you'll be struggling because you know Jacob. That he said, I looked at Israel mm -hmm. and there was no perverseness, my God. Right. Let us talk about Israel. See perverseness. <laughs> Let me give you, because we, and I drop this here. Right. Man of God, when we talk about Israel, mm -hmm. God go to a place and he, he was speaking to Moses. He said, Moses, mm -hmm. I have an idea. I want to kill all these people. And Amen. from you, I make holy nation. These mm -hmm. people are still naked. They don't obey me. I do a miracle today. I show a wonder tomorrow. And they still doubt me and disobey me. These are still naked people. Then the same people God says, <laughs> I beheld at them. I looked at them. I saw no perverseness. These people are nice. 
I like them. They are too good. <laughs> Why? I have a set photo, image mm -hmm. of who I made Israel to be. He said, I set them apart mm -hmm. to be my people. I chose them to show forth my praise. When I look at Israel, oh, they are, these guys are good. Mm -hmm. I, what, I like what I see. Genesis chapter 1, right. God said 10 times, mm -hmm. God said, it is good. 10 times. So whatever God does is what? Look at your neighbor and say, you are good. Yeah. You know, that's why Paul says, um, for this reason, we know no man after, after the, the flesh. flesh. Though we've known Christ. Yes. After the flesh. Yet from now henceforth, we know no man. After the flesh. Because if you know me in the flesh, yeah, yeah. You, you'll be so taken up. Oh, you will struggle with the, with, with the snapshots. You struggle because you are dealing with the with the stages. Yes. As I was growing into what I've already been made. Yes. And you saw me at stage one. I was crawling. Mm -hmm. You saw me at another stage. I was running. I was walking. Mm -hmm. Not knowing, if you spoke to God, I was flying. It, it, so it, it's just... God does not see the stages. He's right at the end. He's right at the end. And I think that's why we struggle, even in a walk, walking with each other. Yes. Because we fail to reference the end. Yes. We want to judge you according to the stage, the stage at which we find you. Where I saw you yesterday. I saw you trip yesterday. I saw you fall yesterday. While God is already at the end, mm -hmm. and most of the times the tripping, the falling, doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't concern him, but it doesn't alter, alter the image, the image that he has us concerning him. Can I say dangerous things here? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Can I say dangerous things? Because I want you, I want you, if, if there's a son, I want you to, you live here feeling very nice about you. Mm -hmm. Because everybody has made you feel bad about you. Mm -hmm. You have felt bad about what is happening around your life. You look at what is going on and you don't feel very good. I want you to, irrespective and irregardless of what is going on in your life, to leave this service this day feeling the way God feels about you. Mm. There is this word we call justification. Right. It's a very big word. Mm -hmm. Justification is being declared right. Right. Without doing right. <laughs> being declared right. Without, without doing right. Like, I declare you wealthy when you have no wealth. Tension of theology yes. again. I declare you holy. When you messed up. When you are messed up. Mm -hmm. I come and I declare you are right. And people say, who, who is right? This man. Yes, this one is right. God told me the other day, and when we began this conversation, sometimes we mm -hmm. get into very deep conversations. God mm -hmm. told me, son, tell my people mm -hmm. when they trip, when they fail, and when they sin, I don't produce forgiveness when mm -hmm. they come to repent. Mm -hmm. That you, also, you are there while you are t telling God, you, it's like God is cooking the forgiveness <laughs> while you are at <laughs> repenting. God, I'm so sorry. So when mm. you are telling him sorry, he's preparing forgiveness. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Right. The same way, God does not prepare love mm -hmm. waiting for you to ask it. Mm -hmm. he, he throws you in the midst of his love mm -hmm. even when you don't know it. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. So when you trip, when you may serve, when you go through something that is not in alignment with your nature in God, and you go tell God, Father, I'm sorry. I forgive you. Let's move on. You know what? Where you are, I'm not there. 
So forgiveness was ready, mm -hmm. waiting for you to collect it. Right. Does this make sense? Does it make sense to you? So that you don't go to God, it's like you are begging God for forgiveness. Lord, have mercy on me. Don't kill me. It will never happen again. God says, hey, sh shut up. You know, I so love you that I, first, I, I, I walked the entire journey of your life mm -hmm. and I'm on the other side of the story. These little missteps right. cannot cancel the image I have concerning you. So it does, God does not tell you what you are doing. God always reminds you who you are. Mm. Tell you, when God, telling, God, God does, does not tell you what you're what you doing. Are doing. He, please don't involve God in that conversation. He will not entertain it. This is what I'm not, this is what is not happening. God, this is not, I, I don't feel I'm a better husband. I don't feel I'm a, fed, I'm a better bro. I don't feel like I'm a good Christian. Oh, I'm malperforming at work. I am underperforming. God said, that conversation is not in my league. Mm hmm because God does not interact with what you are doing now. God is obsessed with who he made you. And until you come to the fullness of what he made you, he may keep saying that. That's why the Holy Spirit does not convict you of sin. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit reminds you of your nature. And I think that's why we struggle a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we we are so caught up with the with the facts what's of, going on of what's going on. going on. And sometimes we even when God like you're saying, He's not working forgiveness now. No, no, no. He forgave you. He forgave you. Before you sinned. He forgave you. He forgave you. <laughs> so there's provision was made before the fall. Our problem is always feeling or making God look like working. he's working now. No, not. So we are caught up with where we are. We are caught up with what we've done. We are caught up with uh, feeling sorry for ourselves. Here. Here. And we lose the focus. The focus. Like you're saying, it doesn't convict you of sin. Convict he always reminds you. Reminds you points you. Who he has already made you. Wow. wow. That makes me very feel very good about it. That, that God permanently, hear me this, God permanently, if okay. you are a born again child of God, God permanently changed his mind concerning you. Could you say more about that? Before you were saved, mm -hmm. God used to look at you, see a sinner, mm. see rebellion, mm -hmm. see wickedness, mm -hmm. because you could not meet the standard of God. Right. Then the moment you received Christ, mm -hmm. you received him who died on your behalf, right. paid the price for your sin, mm -hmm. met God's standard mm -hmm. on your behalf, and told God, Declare Felix right. Change your mind permanently concerning Felix the moment he receives my life. So God looks at you and says, who does he see? He sees the net standard by his son. Mm -hmm. He sees permanent right. So as the scripture says, uh, he has been made to us hmm? by God. By God. Righteousness. Righteousness. Wisdom. Wisdom. Sanctification. Sanctification. Made already. Made. So it, the problem is always on our end. Yeah, God it's, is, it's, it's never with God. Even when we sin, even when we seem to be failing short of the standard. Of the standard. God is still at the standard. Because it is a change. Justification is God changed. God, in his, at justification, God changed his mind permanently concerning you. At sanctification, it is you changing your mind concerning God. Mm -hmm. Now you say that again. 
What if you are tweeting, say this is too much? Hashtag I am too much. At justification. Right. God permanently changed his mind concerning me. Mm -hmm. At sanctification, which is a process, yes. it is me changing my mind concerning God. Because God is finished. I'm the one who is not finished. I am growing into what God has already made me. Mm -hmm. So the problem is not now God. The problem is here. Yes. That's why you started by, by saying it, it's about us becoming. God because is... God is not coming into terms with what without, you are becoming. Yes. You are the one coming into terms with what God has already made you. God you know, the Bible says that God was in Christ reconciling all things to, to himself. himself. In Christ, God was in Christ. Christ reconciling all things. all things to himself. Including your things. <laughs> well, so the journey of faith that we can, we can come into the topic for the day consists in living let me, let me put that differently. The, the journey of faith consists in according to me being so taken up by the standard what mm -hmm. he has done, done that regardless of what happens in between here. I'm, I'm not saying what happens in between is not important, mm -hmm. but regardless of the happenings in between, mm -hmm. that you can be as fixated mm -hmm. with the standard, with what he has made you to be, the same way he is. Otherwise, then it becomes very difficult to walk, walk this walk. Walk this walk of faith. Um, Today, being, we're talking about the tension of faith. Right. Hebrews 11, 6 says, He that cometh to, to God, God yes. must believe that God is, is. comma, mm -hmm. and is a rewarder mm -hmm. of them that diligently seek him. Seek him. Did he say they are seeking results? No. Now, there must be those who believe, those who come to mm -hmm. God, must. must believe that God is. is right, and He rewards those who di diligently seek, seek him. him, not seek results, mm -hmm. not seek answers, mm -hmm. not seek miracles, mm -hmm. not seek the blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere with this. The crisis of faith is when you get obsessed with the results of faith more than the object of your faith. I repeat mm -hmm. that again. The crisis of faith is when you get so obsessed with the results of faith mm -hmm. more than the object of your faith. God, oh Jesus, Abraham mm -hmm. in Romans 4, he staggered not at the, can we read that scripture? Yeah, yeah sure. We can put it up. Can you us. give me that? Is it verse 10? I think from verse 16. 16. Go 16. Continue. Next verse. Next verse. Hmm, continue, continue. I'm looking for the staggering. Uh-huh, continue, continue. Now it's not in there. Uh-huh. 20. Uh-uh, verse 19. Verse 19, then we come to 20. Read justice. Being not weak in faith. He considered, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. Mm -hmm. Are we acknowledging that the body was dead? He considered it was dead. When he was about what? Hundred years. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Simply their situation is already complicated. Complicated. Mm -hmm. Faith deals with complex things. Complicated mm -hmm. things. God right. at 50 and your wife is 40, it's not complicated. Mm -hmm. 
there's hope. Ah, there is hope for you. <laughs> but a hundred, and your wife is 90 plus, it is complicated. Sarah's womb is not only dry, it is dead. Mm -hmm. Abraham's body has not only malfunctioned, it is dead. Mm -hmm. God, he, he knew he was not weak in faith. That's told you faith does not negate reality, oh, but fact. faith refuses to bow to your reality. Mm -hmm. I am barren. I agree. But I don't need to continue barren. Mm. I am weak. I can feel it. But I refuse to agree with it. I am strong. The mm. Bible says, let the weak man say Same. what? Did the Bible say, let the weak man say, I am not weak? <laughs> the moment you say you are not weak, you become more weak. Because mm. it, you are engaging at the law of witness. Mm. The moment you repeat something twice, you will affirm it. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I, I, so if someone tells you, uh, um, you, you don't have kids. Yeah, I, I, I am barren. No, no, you refuse to agree. Mm -hmm. I am a father and a mother of many. Mm -hmm. You, now, yes, <laughs> in the midst of there is no one. Yes. I have, I see men because faith refuses to repeat what it is seeing. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Rafa, this year. Refuse to say mm -hmm. what you are seeing mm -hmm. and say what you want to see. I repeat that again. Refuse to say what you are seeing and say what you want to see. see. That is the spirit of faith. faith. It does not negate facts mm -hmm. because facts can be very fat. Mm. It refuses, it does the refuse to, it refuses to bow to the reality of the facts. Abraham, your body is dead. Sarah's womb. Oh, Jesus. God have oh, mercy. Man. What, what, a, what a trouble. Let me uh, can, can walk with me to, to Abraham's house. 100 year old man and a 90 plus year old woman, and they have a promise. <laughs> what is a promise? You are going to have? To be a father of many nations. A father of many nations. And out of this womb will come out a son mm -hmm. called Isaac. Yes. Called laughter. Mm -hmm. ah. There are things God will drop in your laps. You will just laugh. Mm. Oh, I don't like your faith. I say in the midst of what is going on, there mm -hmm. are things God is going to do to you. You will just laugh. Because you mm. can't explain it. Mm. That is a work because it's not more the promise. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going. Yes, sir. Go to the next verse. Then I, Christ, this gets me excited. He staggered not. This is Abraham. We acknowledge his body is dead. Sarah's womb is. The situation is complicated. Complex. He staggered not at the promise of God. Staggered not. Uh, let, let, let's, be, let's be real. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wanted you to get, get into that. Let's be real. Because it ties to where we started. Yes. Let's be real. According to you, do you think Abraham staggered? Uh, yeah, I'm telling you. At some point, even Sarah came and told Abraham, hey, boss, I, mean, I <laughs> this know. Faith you thing. see, even when God was talking to you, I was not there. Yeah. But I think this God is playing with your mind. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself. Right. A hundred. Look at me. <laughs> you know what? I am old enough to be this stupid. Mm -hmm. Look at this girl. And this is hope here. Yes. Aga was, a, was their house. House, house help. I'm a, a born, a yes. bought slave. Mm -hmm. Get Hagar. She was black. Hagar was black. Hey. When you go black. <laughs> when you go black, yeah? Hagar was black. I'm telling you, I've done black presents in the Bible. Hagar was black. Was an Egyptian girl. Black. Black face. Theo. Black face. Mm -hmm. She was their house help. Mm -hmm. in, a, in the prime of her life. And 
Sarah became employed what I call common sense and right thinking. Hmm. Say, boss, now drop down from your high horse. Forget this about what faith. This the faith thing, eh? mm -hmm. becoming foolishness. Mm -hmm. Let us reason. When he did tell you, he told you he's going to give you a son when you were very strong. That was 20 plus years ago. 20 plus years ago. Let me tell you, if you are writing notes, Abraham waited for Isaac for 25 years. And then you say you have faith. And last year, God told you something. This is 2020. <laughs> and you're having issues. Abraham, you say he's a father of faith, eh? And you say he's your father. Mm. Uh, let's, let's be practical here. You say Abraham is your father of faith, right? How many people are here are, are sons of, and daughters of Abraham? Mm -hmm. Including myself. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the Bible says those who are of faith are yes. blessed. With faithful Abraham yes. are blessed already. Not they will be blessed. They are already blessed. Let's now discuss the father of our faith. The Bible says he staggered not at the promise of God, but was strong in faith. Ha ha. What was the reality on ground? That this look staggering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. When Sarah says, get Hagar. Hey. Excess. <laughs> because the way we are going, <laughs> we can die. But at one point he was telling God, let Nani uh, is it Eliezer he, yes. of Damascus? Let him Give inherit me. I have no son. And God said, I will give you a son from, from your own, own loins. Right. Which loins? This dead loins. Mm -hmm. Staggered. And he gets Sarah, he gets, he listens to Sarah. You need to be careful with Sarah, eh? Tell him to be careful with Sarah. <laughs> because Sarah is very logical and Sarah is absolutely practical. Mm. Yes. Say, oh, they told you how much was the tender again? That tender is 50 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And they are saying you have, by merit, you have it. Yes. So, what is the problem? It's a small issue. What is a small issue? Mm -hmm. They want you to drop like two meters just to make the people that are working to make things happen happy. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't part with the two million, you may miss the tender. And Sarah comes and tells you, it makes sense. Right. 50 million and 2 million. Of course. Of course. Keep them. Mm -hmm. Than losing the 50. Give the 2. It is not corruption. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It is what they call it. You don't call right. it corruption. You, you, you baptize give, it. Give it your own name. Call it appreciation. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is Sarah talking. You like, you like that language of Sarah? Yeah, it's not bad. You know, Aga, Aga is our slave. She's lived in our, in our house. I know her mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. She's uh, sexually not active. So uh, sickness, no. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> All the 318 servants, I know them by name. Mm -hmm. None of them is dating her. So you are safe. And again, I don't have a problem. I'm the yes. one giving her mm -hmm. to you. <laughs> Logic. Practicality. Um, Faith does not bow to logic mm -hmm. and will never bow to practicality. Let me finish here, Pastor, then you talk. So did he stagger? Did he stagger? But God said he staggered. No. <laughs> because when God was calling that man, he never saw any man stagger. Mm -hmm. He looked at Abraham. He saw the epitome of faith. In fact, he declared him right by faith. Mm -hmm. He told him from when he's calling from his people, right. leave your people and your kindred and go to a land I will show you. And the Bible says the following day, Abraham departed. Hey, God declared him, you are a righteous man. Mm -hmm. Which righteous man? This man who is sleeping with girls. Idolater. But see his, his image of Abraham. Of Abraham. And I want to show you what was the ferocity of Abraham's faith. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Go to the next scripture, then I keep quiet. Be fully persuaded. I want you to read. Be what? 
I continue. He was able also to perform. Do you know what is the ferocity of Abraham's faith? Mm -hmm. It was not the promise. Mm -hmm. It was the who that promised. Mm. Let me ask you, Leah. If I called you today and I told you, I've just wired one billion dollars. You love your way home. You just love all the way home. Say, Pastor, is that your job? <laughs> <laughs> For a billion dollars. <laughs> what, what is this smoking? You will not take it serious. Mm. Because you know my capacity, mm -hmm. capability, <laughs> and you can tell when, when, when something is not right. When you begin to question someone's ability to do something, whatever they tell you does not hold water. Mm -hmm. Right? But if today you got a call from Bezos, mm -hmm. tells you he has, he, has, he has bought you five acres in mass. <laughs> and he wants construction to begin next year. Would you believe him or not? Would you? You will not struggle. Because that guy can buy the planet for you. Right? You will know his capacity mm -hmm. and his capability Ability. to perform mm -hmm. what he says. Right? Mm -hmm. the, pro the problem of the church is not faith. Right. The problem of the church is our knowledge of the object of our, of faith. our faith. Abraham staggered not. Because he knew him. That well, promise. Promised. That he was, he could not only promise, he has capacity Sitting. to perform. Go rest. What he has promised. Even if it's 50 years from today, it's fine. Even when we are 150, we'll get Isaac. Because, mm -hmm. not of us. Not because of Sarah. Not because of me. But because of him, that promise. promise. He can do anything, anywhere, anytime. And I know him. Mm -hmm. let me ask you do you know God because if you mm -hmm. know God you will negate what is going on or you will insult things you, you, you are going to become like Zerubbabel you'll be, you'll be insulting mountains mm -hmm. who are you mountain? who are you you'll be talking yes. to things as if you have lost your mind because I know him mm -hmm. oh is it Paul I finish I pass I finish here yes. Paul is talking he said I know him I know him. him, whom I, I have believed, believed, and I am persuaded, persuaded. that is what well he able did. to do. Now, now, when you are talking to Paul, that he is persuaded, this man is going through a lot of wahala, mm -hmm. trouble. Mm. You meet him, shipwrecks, stone left to die, perils from his own brothers, mm -hmm. peril from false brethren. At one point, he was dropped. In, in Damascus, <laughs> he was he escaped the wrath of the governor because someone dropped him in a basket. And then you, he says, who is weak? Mm -hmm. He said, I am not weak. Mm -hmm. Who is offended? And he said, I'm not offended. Said, None of these things move me. Uh -huh. Why? I know him. If you, the, if you know the object of your faith, the moment your confessions are tested, Mm -hmm. ah. Do you really believe? Do you really? Do you really believe? So, is it faith in faith or faith in someone? Mm -hmm. Because what we are, um, I can tell you, I've been in this work for some time. Right. People are having faith in faith. Mm -hmm. People have also become so obsessed with written promises. With with a promise. Promises. We quote them. Quote the promises. 21 promises in a, for a good day. 25, 20, 50 promises for a better marriage. Oh my God. Oh, you are talking the promises. Do you know the promiser? Mm -hmm. Promissory notes. Do you know the promiser? Because my faith is not in the promise per se. Mm -hmm. What gives me the audacity to say the promise? Promise is my intimate relationship with the promiser. So even if the promise delays, I'm fine. Mm. Because I know. I, I know. 
I'm so seated here, they are doing time. <laughs> you know, most of the times we, we struggle not because we don't have the promise. No, 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 the promise is there. No, because we're not carrying the promise. No, we didn't catch the promise. Church that talks like 21st century church. Right. Standing on the promises ah, of God. Standing on the promise of God. Warfare, prayer. Mm -hmm. ah. but, but Paul says, I know him whom him I believe. I am. Not I am believing. Yes. Him. <laughs> Continue. Abraham staggered not because he knew him. That had promised. Paul, uh, not Paul, Peter. Peter. And uh, his team have been fishing the whole night. Yes. Master shows I think up. Look, look, chapter five. Jesus shows up. Jesus shows up. Um, tells him, cast, cast your net on, on the other side for a catch. Not for an experiment. Yes, for a catch. Then Peter responds and, and says, you have toiled the whole night. All night. Yeah, the yeah, facts. <laughs> he states the facts. He's refuses to bow. Bow. He says, nevertheless, at, at your word. word. But it's not just the word. It's the one saying it. It's the one saying it. At your. At, so you, the one who said it. If a different guy showed up ah, please. and told him, Peter will kill <laughs> cast you. your head oh, on the other side. And he has been here for all night. Yes. He will kill you. So it was not the word spoken, cast your net. It was the one who said it. If another fisherman tried that statement on yes. Peter, Peter would have been arrested. <laughs> it would not have ended very well. Yes, yes. But it says, at your yes. word. At your word. I know you. I, I so know you. So you, 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 you don't care whether, because the moment you say it because of who you are, mm -hmm. if that fish was in Saudi Arabia, they will hear you. And okay. where the net is dropping, yes. or they must come there. There the, 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 the will be a, a convergence, a meeting. Yeah. Then nature will conspire to honor your word. Mm -hmm. ah. So, Pastor, you are provoking yeah. Go on, go on. You see, the, the Esther, mm -hmm. if, God, if Jesus stepped in here and said, Esther is Caucasian, everybody here will rile. Right. It's not true. We know her. She's from here, blah, blah. He can even complicate it. Say, Esther is European. That when you are looking at her, she's a pure Briton. Mm -hmm. People will struggle. But the moment it leaves the mouth of God, it must respond accordingly. The next mo minute we are looking at Esther, she will be a pure Briton because God cannot lie. Yeah. Hmm. But I, I, I want us to go back to, <laughs> to where we, to that, that tension because she, he can speak that way about Esther yes. and there might be some in between. There, must, there is a process. process. Between the spoken, spoken word and the done word. The done word. When he says it, on his end, it is done. It is done. Waiting for your faith to transport what is already finished into the physical realm. Mm -hmm. From the invisible. And that is a process. Let me, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When you pray, about something. When did you get the answer? Because I've met people, especially intercessors. I have respect for intercessors. <laughs> 21 days. One day. Pa prayer and fasting. They wake up at midnight doing atomic warfare. <laughs> atomic spiritual warfare. Harnessing mm. the power of the night. Mm -hmm. Pray through the gates of time. Hi, Jesus. <laughs> then you ask them, when will you know the answer came? Mm -hmm. How do you know the answer came? The Bible says when you pray. 
So the moment, the day you opened your mouth and prayed about that issue, mm -hmm. that day, mm -hmm. you collected the answer. And you know, it's mostly you who's catching up. Yes. Actually, God is done. Already God is done. Yes. But the moment I pray, I have received. Yes. But then, why is it then I, I, re, I receive here and I don't have it here? Mm -hmm. Dissertation of faith. Mm -hmm. I was told by God when I was 22 that at 25, this is what will be happening in my life. And I get at 25 and the realities on ground I even begin to de doubt what he said, not knowing what he said is finished. Mm -hmm. But the moment he says it is done, and I believe it, I get into what I call the process of testing of my faith. Mm -hmm. Child of God, never trust anybody's faith that has not passed the test of time. Let me ask you. Does faith, is faith a magic wand? Obviously not. Is it, um, is, it is something you, is, like, is, is, is it something we use to manipulate God? Because if you have faith, if you know God, if you know God, you will handle problems. I repeat again, if you know God, you will handle process. If today you told your spouse, told Esther, that I will buy you this thing next mm -hmm. month, she will not be reminding you every day. <laughs> Why? Because she will. Mm -hmm. So she enters in what we call the rest of faith. Yes. The rest of faith. That when God tells me about something, and I can confirm it within the pages of scripture. I go to rest. The rest of faith. That I'm not apprehensive. Mm -hmm. I'm not every day. Oh my God. Oh my. I hope. I hope. Oh. I, 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 oh. I pray COVID will not come. Oh, please my kids. Don't leave the house. Eh? Hey. Don't greet anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Everybody has COVID. You. Mm -hmm. You are apprehensiveness. And fear communicates faithlessness. But if I wash my hands, put on my mask, step out, go to work, or go to do the things I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. I am in faith. Right. Are you hearing me? That I know, can I say this? I, someone will say, Pastor, you are so too much. Mm -hmm. Nothing cannot catch me. Mm -hmm. I have already spoken to you. Mm -hmm. So I, what I am doing, I am meeting obligations for, for other people's sake. I'll mm -hmm. put my mask, mm -hmm. wash my hands, and take care of my surroundings. Not necessarily for my sake. Just to fulfill all righteousness. Just to fulfill all righteousness. Because my faith tells me, did not the scripture say 10,000 mm. shall fall? Oh. One, a thousand and ten thousand and mm. it shall not come, come near me. thy dwelling. That is the word of God, right? Mm. To who? To me. Mm -hmm. So not everything that happens in the world I have to be a victim to because mm -hmm. of the life I have in Christ. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Did he not say that I will hide you in the pavilion mm -hmm. of my word? The day of trouble. In the, I will hide you. Did he say that? So why is it I can't find I can't find safety? Mm -hmm. So the problem is never God. The problem is never His word. The problem is never His promise. And the problem is never the problem. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who have been in that problem before, right? And left it and stopped. Mm -hmm. So the problem is never the problem. The problem is you. Your faith in the object yes. of your faith. Do you know him? know him? So pastor, as, as we come to a close, uh, if I hear what you're saying, you're saying what keeps us in that space where there's 
the tension of faith. The tension of faith after receiving, after it's receiving. getting the word, and until the word is manifest. It's manifest. That process. It's a knowledge what of keep you him. him who gave you the word. But most of the times we are so taken up with the word. What was said. What was said. And we don't know who said it. And we don't acquaint ourselves to the one who said it. With the one who said it. And we lose it. The process. And our, our measurement or evaluation of the faithfulness or ability of the one who said ends up being pegged more on the outcomes. On the outcomes. Of what he said. Repeat that again. In our understanding. Mm. Repeat that again. Well, that's where the problem is. Repeat that again. That our issue here is we end up being more caught up mm -hmm. with uh, well, sometimes re re repeating it becomes <laughs> the outcome. Uh, the outcome. We're so caught up with the outcomes outcome. uh -huh. than our, our evaluation of the effectiveness or validity of what he said. What he said is more about the outcomes rather than our appreciation, our acquaintance, or our knowledge of him, him. who said. Who said. That is what, if, we, if we fix that, mm -hmm. we are living in authentic Bible faith. Mm -hmm. But I am not obsessed with the results. We are not saying the results are not important. The results are very important. Because actually what you want is results. Yes. But you can't be so obsessed with the results at the expense of the source. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, you are, if all you need is results, at some point you can let go of your faith and bring in your works. Mm -hmm. Let's fix this. That's why someone will come. Can I, say, can, I, can I give you a practical example? So, so, so God tells you, I'm going to, for example, which is not, uh, let me come to the Christianese. That a car is not a blessing. Mm -hmm. But if That's someone right. gets a car <laughs> to come to church, praise God. God told me, will give me a car. This and this has happened. I finally have a car. When you talk to them outside, when the uh, after pastor has poured oil on the car, I don't know why we do that. <laughs> uh, just buy the car and drive. Well, we don't here. Yeah. <laughs> just buy the car and drive. Right. Why are you pouring oil? <laughs> so, you get the car, when people, are after now, everybody is celebrating you, God, congratulations for your new car, God bless you, wow, it's a nice ride, I like this, oh God. But deep down your heart, you are not telling them the detail. I took a long, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am paid for the poly. <laughs> so actually, I helped God help me. <laughs> because, you were obsessed with the result. Mm -hmm. I must have it. Waone. But because the one who spoke the word, mm -hmm. when the word was tested, my deficiency of knowledge of him mm -hmm. pushed me off the faith lane. And I began getting into wax lane. Because if it's of faith, wax must respond to the word spoken. Not to your obsession with having the need. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing? So, God, your object of faith, right. is not defined by what he does for you. Or for you. Or for you. Is defined by who he is. That's why he says, he who comes to him must, must know believe that I am that he is. And then I reward those who diligently seek him. me. Jesus talking in Matthew. Mm -hmm. He said, come unto me. Right. Do that. Labor. Learn of me. And you'll find rest. For, learn of him. This is learn from me. Are you hearing this? He said, learn. I am the one you should learn. Mm -hmm. Me. Get acquainted with me. Then you will find rest. rest. So,
God is not defined by what he does to you or he does for you. Mm -hmm. What defines God is who he is. After your best prayer, after your best believing, mm -hmm. God, till God. Mm -hmm. That's why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we know our God is we well able, able to do. We know. Tick. We know him. Okay. But in a case... Yes. He doesn't do. Today he decides he will not do. We are fine. Mm -hmm. How many of us are there? Father, I trust you for this. I believe you for this. But even if the outcome is to the contrary, mm. I am fine. Ah. Listen to Job. I believe him. I so trust God that even if he even kills me, slays me, that while he's killing me, I will see the the project, if God has a project of eliminating me, I will see it as a very good project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For him to decide to kill me, he must have, have a greater agenda in killing me. So right. I, I will trust him in the killing. Are you saying that? That I choose never to get offended, offended with God. If anything God does. He delays, I'm fine. It comes quickly, I am fine. But let me correct your theology. There is no shortcuts with God. There are no quick fixes with God. Even miracles are not instances. There are no instances no in this kingdom. Miracles. Forget about this. Suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> su my God, I prayed and suddenly I was healed. Suddenly the business picked up. Suddenly I was married. Suddenly there was money in the bank. And suddenly, and people in the church will be yelling. Mm -hmm. Screaming, lifting chairs. Suddenly, there's nothing like suddenly. Right. Before the suddenly, <laughs> there was a process. Mm -hmm. There are no shortcuts. There are no suddens with God. What you would call suddens, Sudden. there was a process behind it. Mm -hmm. Even miracles, hear me, child of God, even miracles are processes that have been sped up. Mm. Lest your faith is shipwrecked, or you shipwreck your faith, or you, you dent your faith by being obsessed with the quick fix. It must be soon, it must be tomorrow. Let me tell you, if God tells Abraham, I will give you Isaac 25 years from today, Abraham would have given up. Yes. He would never have God will country. show you the end. And he let you deal with the process. Mm -hmm. Joseph, you are going to be the prime minister of Egypt. Brothers will hate you. Drop you in a pit. Sell you as a slave. Potiphar's wife will be on your neck. Prison you will go. Prison you are abandoned. And then you will become. If God gave the details of that journey from the onset, Joseph would have looked at God and said, you know what? <laughs> give it to someone. I don't want. It's been a good day. <laughs> Please, it is well. Now, now, so that we can close on this. So, what, what you're saying then is for us to be so taken up with knowing, knowing him, the object of, of our faith. faith, and to grow into the place where even if he doesn't, we are fine. I, I, I don't I don't evaluate him I by, don't what he does. by what he does. I evaluate him for who he is. For who he is. Yes. And once that is settled, then I'm not so attached to the outcomes. Just like you're saying about Jeff Bezos, I know he's worth 200 billion yes, plus. Yes. So if it, if it tells me today you drop here, maybe the, the latest Rolls Royce. And then it doesn't come. It, you will not even call it there. Oh, no, po possibly, maybe it's held up somewhere, the yeah, shipping you process. May be, you, you will not call him. Aye. Oh, Jesus. You, will, you know why you will not call him? You know, if, if, if the, the Royce Royce delays getting to Kenya, maybe he's bringing something bigger, <laughs> or he used, you will give yourself reasons yes. not to explain his promise away, because you know his capacity. And not only capacity, integrity. Mm. 
and so forth. I want to open up the floor to maybe one or two questions from from the, the congregation uh, as we bring this to a close in case anybody has a, has a question. Um, do we have a microphone out there? Help us with a microphone. I said today we'll do it a bit differently. Anybody blessed? Anybody blessed? Anybody helped? How many people of faith do we have here? We still have faith in God. Faith in God. Faith in God, not faith in the works of Let's God. Hurry up. Let's faith. hurry up. Faith in God. To know him. To know him. To the point that I can handle delay. I can handle delay. I can handle frustration. I can handle. I can handle the process because I know him. I can stand in that tension. And even when people, because that's what, that's where we trip. That's where we choke sometimes. Because people want to judge your faith by the outcomes mm -hmm. of faith. Um, Gideon asked him if. God, if you really be with us, yes. where be your miracles? Why am I, yes. why am I hiding from you? For the evidence is yes, contrary. Yes, the evidence. Contrary. But that we can get to the point where we know him. To the point, point. that the evidence on ground cannot cancel ability and integrity. Wow. Any question? Question. It's a question. And another one here. I wanted to answer now. Dada Kwanza. Hello. Hello. Uh, this week I was meditating on the 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 woman with the issue of the blood, and I kept asking the Holy Spirit, what what was behind the miracle? Is it that he had she had heard about Jesus? What? Uh, and okay, well you say that the miracles are not instant. And the word of God doesn't talk of uh, the lady fasting, doing all those things. But the moment she touched the Jesus clothes, she was completely healed. So I was asking the Holy Spirit, what was behind that? Can you, can you give me the revelation of her being healed? Number one, she had knowledge of Jesus. She, the Bible says she had gone to many doctors. After she was done with doctors, she heard mm -hmm. about Jesus. What did she hear about Jesus? The things Jesus was doing. Who Jesus was and the things he was doing. Could this be the Messiah? Right. The things she was hearing, the things Jesus was doing, she said, ah, ah, this must be that Messiah. In fact, what, what happened when she came to the meeting was to collect her physical healing. Mm -hmm. Because at the house, she said, she said in her heart, heart. if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. So when was she healed? At home. If she was not convinced she's healed at home, it was Saido. To carry a stinking body in that Jewish crowd. And Peter is there. Mm -hmm. Ah, my God. The smell would have been picked meters away and she would be stopped, even stoned. Mm -hmm. But why she, how did she risk her life? Because at the house she said to herself, after I have done a good deed, mm -hmm. candid audit of this man. This is the healer. This is what I'm going to do. When I meet him, I will touch him of his garment and I will be healed. Then she left. So when she was coming, she was actioning her faith. Mm -hmm. When did the healing happen? At the moment faith came on board, right. healing was secured. The moment she actioned her faith, Healing was confirmed. Makes sense. Okay, let me help you a bit. Give you another more classic example. You remember the wedding in the Cana of Galilee? 
Mary, the mother of Jesus, tells them what? Whatever he tells you, do whatever. Yes, if you are a faith person, you must handle with whatever. Whatever Jesus tells you. Whatever. So what was that whatever? Pick jars of what? Water. Water. Let me stand. It's all right. Pick jars of empty jars, right? Mm -hmm. Fill them. That's it. Don't mm -hmm. take it. All of us are saved. <laughs> fill mm -hmm. them with. Fill the jars. Bring empty jars. Second state, Second instruction. Fill them with what? With water. With water. What does the master of ceremony want? Wine. Talk to me, church. Wine. So what is scarce at the wedding? What has run out? Wine, not water. So what does Jesus tell them to do? Fill the jars with water. Then it, third instruction, very ridiculous. Let me tell you, if you want to see the miraculous, you must be willing to do the ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So take the water, scoop Draw from the jars, the water you poured in, draw water, right? Take to the master of the ceremony. What are you carrying? Instruction. <laughs> uh -huh. So you, you scooped what? What are you carrying to the master of ceremony? No, water. What did you scoop? Water. What are you carrying? When did the water become wine? Mm -hmm. While I was moving from the point of instruction right. to the point of reception, or point, when I go to the master of ceremony, it mm -hmm. was why. Do you know what got me excited? What I scooped was water. What he tested was why. I must go back. <laughs> Draw again. The miracle was happening while they were walking to the master of ceremony. Otherwise, if the, it was already wine in here, it could not be a miracle. That's right. The Bible says we are saved by hope, but I hope that is seen. What a man sees, why does he yet hope for? Water? Wine there. Mm -hmm. When was water becoming wine? From the place of scoop, instructed. Who, has, who said scoop? Who said draw the water? Jesus. You were told whatever Jesus says you do. Mm -hmm. So take water, take to that gentleman, he will be taking wine. Wine was become, water was becoming wine on the way to the master of ceremony because of the one who gave the instruction and the one who obeyed mm -hmm. to action the instruction. Hear me, God's power is unlocked when we are willing to obey his instruction. Again, 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 the, the feeding of the 12,000. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yes, sir. The, the feeding of the 5,000. 5, how, how many fish were there? And loaves of bread. They are cut into pieces. People are allowed to sit down. And the disciples are given 12 baskets. There are 12 disciples, including Judas, who was also serving. Mm -hmm. So in every basket, there's a piece of bread and a piece of fish. Okay. How many people are there? 5,000. How many baskets do you have? 12. Each basket has what? A piece of bread and a piece of Fish. So you come to the first person. After they have collected the fish and bread, what is remaining? Huh? Yes, sir. If there is only one piece of fish in this basket and only one piece of bread, and I come to you being the first person in this church and I serve you first, what is remaining in the basket? Nothing. So I have Faith is to move. Are, he has, she has already collected. So I, we were told to feed them. So there must be enough to feed them. You, you don't look into the basket. You follow the instructions. Right. Go to the next person. Just pick your bread. What they are looking is bread, is fish. Next. So I am not inspecting the basket. I am complying with the instructions. Mm -hmm. And when the disciples finish serving, they come back to Jesus with. Each one with a basket with what? A piece of bread. Simply put, what they feed from the onset was what they were with after they had fed everybody. The miracle was happening as they complied with the instruction. My dear sister, make sense? Was healed where? So when she was walking to Jesus, thinking, and you asked her, uh, are you, do, do you have um, uh, 
emojing. Are you bleeding? He said, no, I'm not bleeding. God healed. Mm -hmm. I, I am not, you, because you don't say what you had. You say what you want to see. I have already finished with the sickness. I am going to confirm it. Mm -hmm. So I am, are you, where, where are you going? I, I, I'm going to Jesus. Where I'm going to be, I'm going to collect my healing. The Bible says she touched him, she healed. But she had already been healed. She knew him. The, the woman, the, the, the disciples knew him. Mm -hmm. The guys at the wedding of Gal of Galilee knew what? Him. him. So it is the one who gives the instruction to back it up. Amen. Beautiful. There's a question here. Answer this one. Microphone. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Uh, mine is just a question in terms of uh, at the period of rest, because I think as you were saying, Sarah tried to be practical, and as human beings and in our own weakness, we try to apply that Mr. or Miss Fix It tag. So how confident or how right how can we manage that process such that as you await the promise, then you're not uh, sort of like trying to fix it on your own and waiting upon God? Because most of the times that's what happened. You probably are looking towards something and you see like it's taking too long. So as a human being, then you try to use reason and, and, and practicability just to solve the solution, but you end up making things probably worse and sometimes even in that space it somehow convinces you that it's God trying to help you to get towards that goal so it's like the way someone was saying you think God is speaking to you in a storm but probably it was a lightning it was not a storm so you are listening to the wrong sound and thinking that probably it's God leading you but he's not so how how within that process are you able to know or interpret what is right and, and, and what is wrong? Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Never tell you anything that contradicts word. Right? So, number one, the security of what God says must be backed by the written word. Number one, rest is not relaxation. Mm -hmm. Those are two different things. If I ask, ask them, uh, Pastor, where are you? I'm home relaxing. And ask, where are you, sir? I'm resting. Resting is a disposition of the heart. It's not the absence of activity. Mm -hmm. Relaxation is absence Mm -hmm. of activity. I have stopped any activity. I am doing nothing. I'm relaxing. Mm -hmm. But rest, you can be at work. I prayed about this uh, promotion and I entered rest. In my spirit, it is done. Right? I have a rest on the issue. I am actually thanking God for that position. So every day I am watering that by speaking mm -hmm. the word of God. Father, I thank you because whatever you do is permanent. Father, I thank you because you are not a son of man to repent. If you declare this is my space, it is mine. I receive it. So you keep you stay in a you stay in a, a you maintain an attitude of gratitude as you wait for the manifestation. And how do you feed that? Speaking the word. Two. Two. We said your faith is because of you know him that gave you the promise. Mm -hmm. Two. He has already confirmed it with his word which you have to speak. Watering what is spoke mm -hmm. by what is written. Because if God tell, if you tell me God told you something that he can't, it can't confirm by scripture, we begin to, begin to suspect what you had. You had from who? Mm -hmm. 
Right? Right. So if the word, if it's not confirmed by the word, like if God tells you you are going to get this contract, then uh, someone comes from somewhere and wants to help you by you giving kickbacks. I know they are called kickbacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, where, yes. Where can they not kick the stomach? <laughs> so kick what? So at the end of the day, you are using other happenings to, like you are trying to help God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you heard that statement, God helps those who help themselves? It's not Bible. Humanism. Yeah, because helping, you can't help God. Mm -hmm. Because God tells you what he has already finished. All mm -hmm. things are already ready for you, for your receiving. All he needs is your faith. And But there's a process to receiving. So if, the pro, if after the word is spoken, the promise is given, and how do I manage delay? By knowing him. him. And two, speaking his word and maintaining an attitude of gratitude. That is you rest in your spirit. This is a done deal. It is only a matter of time in my space to see manifest. And the knowledge I have of God, okay. even if that answer never comes the way I expect it, right. I'm still staying put. Make sense? So, don't get obsessed with having the need met at the expense of the one who gave the promise. Have, have you had this prophecy that this time next year mm -hmm. you'll be married? This time mm -hmm. next year. I don't know why the people say, just give you as, if we are really in forensic, give me the day, the month, the man, the place of the wedding. Solve, <laughs> solve the problem for me. Why are you giving blagged statements this time next year? That is very vague. Give me the man, the date, the wedding, whatever. So someone is told that, and in mm -hmm. the name of prophetic compliance, say this time next year I'll be married. This, yeah, Unavika, this is already when? <laughs> it's September one. Remember, Gisha, October, November, and the year ends. Hey, God, God cannot lie. So in October, you begin to help God. Mm -hmm. You just get any man and man. <laughs> man and man. <laughs> You get anything. By December, <laughs> you are married by anything because you are trying to read God's will mm -hmm. into your emotions. Not knowing when, sorry, so this time of life, God spoke to her mm -hmm. and gave her, she said, how will I believe? She said, Even like gave you an example of something God is doing within you reach. And she said, oh, it is true. And she stuck on the word of God. Don't read your emotion. God is not in a hurry. Right. So you can't rush him. Mm -hmm. So if he gives you something, he tells you something, you hold on to it. What is your stability and security is what he has spoken, who he is, the knowledge of who he is, the stability is in who he is, the security is in who he is. What is the confirmation? His word. If it contradicts God's word, if someone comes and contradicts what God told you, then don't believe it. And even your emotions. Sometimes, Pastor, you'll be there. Right. I, I have been there where you are trusting, you have trusted God for something. Hey. Like, hey, this is too long. There's one issue I have showed you before. Mm -hmm. We prayed for 12 years. Mm. People fell off the way, say, hey, it will never happen. No. But deep down my heart, the day we began praying that thing, to me, it was settled. It's gonna, gonna happen. It happened twelve years later, the way I had seen it twelve years before. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why? God was done then. Yes. This journey was not. We were not taking that journey. God was not taking that journey with us. We were the ones taking, taking the, the journey, journey of faith. faith. God is on the other side of the testimony. And let me tell you, child of God, God is on the other side of the miracle. God is on the other side of the blessing. Mm. This tech is not working with you. Him is finished. Suddenly, the work of faith is not toiling. Right. It's trusting. Trusting. Confident trust in him who has promised. That what you began by saying, he, the acts of the apostles, the uh, 20, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 
I commend it to God. I commend it to God and, and to, to the, the word, word of, of his, his grace. grace. Yes, 2032. I, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace Which that is, is able, grace. that word of grace, God's unmerited favor, and God, God's unstoppable power, enabling ability, is able to build you up. After it has built you, it must of necessity give fruit. Amen. 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 Well, we need to bring this to a close Glory so that we fulfill all righteousness again. Yes. Unless there's a burning question. Anybody who feels they can't go home with their question. Someone, you, you, you might have to see us after the service. But go, go ahead, briefly, briefly, briefly. Sorry, sorry, Pastor. Just in the same line, I, was, I had asked a question. So is it also possible that when God promises you something and he's on the other side of the promise, but your journey can lead you not to see that promise? Let's say I'm promised the promotion and then I start in my workplace now talking to people the wrong place just because I think so as much as the promise is there you don't reach towards it based on the journey or the process yeah, because I tell people, pastor correct me if I'm wrong mm -hmm. promise given is not promise guaranteed that's right right that's right According to God, everything God he has said is done. Mm -hmm. But is everything God, is everything done in God, has it been appropriated in our lives? No. Mm -hmm. Is a problem God? No. The problem is always here. For example, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. That's right. He has given us all things that pertain to life and godly. godly. Has given what? So you are who? Simon. Simon. Yes. Simon, God has given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. Have you received everything? But he said he gave you all. Why have you, not, why have you collected something? So given does not guarantee receive. Mm -hmm. That's where faith comes in. When God gives, gives, an, gives you a promise, that promise has to be believed. And then when that promise has been believed, that word, which is the promise, has to be worked. The working of faith. What we are talking, the process of staying with God because of what you know of God, till there is a fruition of what he said, that is a working of faith. Mm -hmm. And many of us fail there. Mm -hmm. It's too awful. That's true. Sometimes it also has to do with our maturity in understanding, understanding in handling what has been said. Because he said, possibly it's not for you to go shout at your workplace. And you end up giving information to possibly even those who would want to derail what God has said. Sometimes the wisdom to, to keep it with you. Uh, uh, was, it, was it Elizabeth? Was it Elizabeth who went to Mary or Mary? Mary, went, Mary who went to Elizabeth. Not to any other person. Not to any other person. So it's also... You work with God to bring to pass what he has told you. Just because he has told you doesn't mean it's information for the public or for everybody. So you start saying, uh, you go telling your boss where you are sitting, actually that's my seat, I'm coming. What do you think the boss would do? <laughs> Just wait for a small, a small mistake and they'll show you the door. They will fire you. They'll fire you. Because you are not wise. And so it, it, it looks like God's promise didn't As come to pass. But you, derailed, failed, you derailed it to maturity. And how you fail. The work, the work of faith, the work of faith are divided by what they call it, like wisdom and knowledge. Because if I, the Bible says, as, um, as wise as serpents, serpents. Wisdom, as harmless as doves, if, if God tells you that he's going to promote you to that office, anything God promises, position to someone in it. Mm -hmm. Right? You are promised land inhabitants. There are giants. 
There are seven nations in your promised land. But God tells you, I have given you the land. Yeah. How do you give you the land that it is occupied? Because anything God promises you, it is no, it's no vacancy. Mm -hmm. Someone has to move from that position for you to have it. So it will be very unwise of you after getting a word from God. That will be your next blessing. You go announcing to the, even to the person who, the, the, the current office holder coming for you. God has already given me the city. You, you end up creating other problems in the process that derailed the promise. And then you go tell God, you gave me a word and you did not honor it. And it is you that derailed the word by how you processed what he said. Processing is a product of maturity. How you acted out what he told you, a function of wisdom. So it's not just he said, it, ah, you go all out. Maybe all oh, today God tells you you are going to become the president of Kenya and you stop working tomorrow and you pack your bank, stay, and stay outside state house. You'll be arrested. <laughs> Pastor, would you pray with us as, as we come to a close? We, we, we have to close Father, now. we honor you. I don't know what, you, what brought you to God's house today. I just want you to raise your right hand and in your spirit, that issue that you're dealing with right now and you want God to come through for you. We have acknowledged by God's word today that God is not working. God has worked. For the Bible says in Ephesians 3.20, now unto him that is able to do. We know him that is able to do. We know you that is able to do. That cannot be stopped. We know you that cannot be hindered. We know you that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can think, above all we can ask. You will exceed even our expectations. Not unto us, but unto your name be glory. The things you do, you do in honor of yourself. I pray for your sons and I pray for your daughters today. Whatever is standing before them, whatever mountain is standing before them, let that mountain be leveled. Let that valley be raised. Yes. Let that issue be sorted in the name of Jesus. I speak to sicknesses. I speak to diseases. I speak to concerns that have weighed heavily on the shoulders of God's people. Let there be a blessing coming through now. Yes. Let there be an answer now. Let there be a solution now. Lord, because they have trusted in you. Yes. The Bible says this is a victory that overcomes the world, yes. even our faith. Our faith in God unlocks the power of God. The faith of God is dependent on who God is and what is his ability, capacity to deliver on his promises. Father, pursue your word that concerns that need and honor your word. Pursue your word that concerning that family, concern that marriage, concern that relationship, concerns that business, concerning that deal, that tender, that contract. Pursue your word that you give to your sons and daughters. Pursue your word. According to Jeremiah, pursue your word and perform it. Because your word will never return to you void. And Father, we confess this afternoon. We are not obsessed by what you do. We are obsessed with who you are. We want to confess this afternoon. We are not pursuing the result. We are pursuing you. Yes. Lord, we confess this afternoon mm. that delays will not break our trust. Yes, Lord. Delay will not cancel our faith. Mm. Lord, we refuse to give up to the pressure of delay. At the expense of our relationship with you. This day, we know you will do. Mm. But we are not obsessed with what we will do. Yes. We are obsessed with who you are. Mm. We know your promises will be performed. Mm. But we are not obsessed with the promise. Mm. We want to be obsessed with the promiser. Mm. We know the word will deliver. Yes. There will be wonders. For the word we believe. But we are not obsessed with the wonders of the word. We want to be obsessed with the wonderful one who gave the word. 
Father, none of our faith will fail. Mm. And I speak to everyone that came here weary and tired mm. because of what they are going through. Father, strengthen their faith. Yes. Strengthen their faith, Lord, by the power mm. of your spirit and by the power of your word. Because mm. the Bible says through the consolation of the scriptures, we might find hope. Mm. Be strengthened. I speak strength to their spirit, man. Mm. But they will not fail. They will not falter. Mm. They will stand like Abraham on God's word. They will be strong in faith because of him that promised them will be able to do it. We stand with Apostle Paul and confess this afternoon. Mm. We know him. We know you. Thank you. We know you that gave us the job. Mm. We know you that gave us a marriage. Mm. We know you that gave us a business. Mm. We know you that gave us a ministry. Mm. You know you, we know you that gave us the gift. We know you that opened the door. Mm. We know you that opened the gate. We know you that con made the connections. We know you that brought about the networks. We know you. And we are well persuaded that you are able to do and keep that which we've committed to you. Again is that day. Receive glory in advance. Yes. Thank you for strengthened faith. Mm. Thank you for revived faith. Thank you, Thank you for restored vibrancy of Thank trust. You. And confidence in God. We will not cast away our confidence in God. Mm. Irrespective of what happens around us, we refuse to give up mm. on God's promise concerning us. We will truly enter the place you intended for us because you are yes. not thinking what to do with us. You are already finished. You are not coming to terms with what we are becoming. We are the one coming to terms with what you already finished concerning us. We thank you we bless you for answers. We bless you for miracles. We bless you for divine and supernatural interventions. Yes. That there will be testimonies in our lips because of the shift that is happening in the realm of the spirit that our faith is aligned. Mm. Maturity, wisdom, knowledge and understanding will be conferred on us Thank you. for effective performance of God's word honor you and I bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 Can we appreciate the bless Lord? You. Appreciate the servant of God for being a blessing to us today. Amen.